El Nino is here, and it's earlier than usual. On Thursday, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued an El Nino advisory saying the phenomenon in the Pacific Ocean is forming a couple of months early. NOAA says that, quote, gives it room to grow. NOAA says that there is a 56% chance it will be strong this year and a 25% chance it will reach supersized levels. Uh, El Nino refers to a situation in which the tropical Pacific is in a um, a weird state. Nick Bond is a climatologist for the state of Washington and a research scientist at the University of Washington. He says this summer is expected to be warm and dry in some areas of the country, but the true impact of El Nino may not be felt until the winter, spring, and next summer as the snowpack in northern parts of the country could be very low. We see exceptions to the rule and so forth, but there is definitely a relationship between El Nino and what happens around the world, not just in the U.S., but um, other places with uh, really serious ramifications. While northern tier states could see much drier conditions, southern California and the Gulf Coast may see more rain. Typically, El Nino conditions lead to a calmer hurricane season in the Atlantic, but warmer than normal waters there could still fuel another intense hurricane season. Right now, the Atlantic is, is on the active side, and so that, again, kind of stacks the deck for um, maybe a little bit more of, um, you know, problems of that sort. One good thing about knowing about El Nino ahead of time, says Bond, is that we can prepare and brace ourselves for potential big impacts. Learning how to deal with these kind of year-to-year -year changes in the weather and climate is probably a good practice uh, in dealing with the effects of climate change.